you want to make some friends in class, just pull out this pack of gum, okay? They're going to be on your Don't play with it, don't be the size. Hey, still not understand. Hey y'all, uh, we're gonna be doing a back to school emergency kit. I know this is a bit female center type of video, but this is for everybody. Everyone of all genders can think about some of these things in here, okay? Oh, I'm a junior in college. Yeah, I'm pretty old, I'm not gonna lie. So I definitely know, you know, how the school day goes and what you might need, what I was missing. You know, I had my embarrassing stories and I wanna save y'all. So please keep watching so you can hear from your big sister what you might need in your school emergency kit in 2024. Also, right now, we're at 6,800 subscribers. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers for the end of December. That would be so cool. So, if you watch the whole video, you end up liking, make sure you subscribe. Okay, first off, I definitely recommend getting a bag, of course, to hold all of your emergency supplies. But you need to get a decent size, okay? You need to get some, probably somewhere to this size, and put this in your locker or have it in your book bag or something like that. So, I don't know where I got this from, honestly. I just sold this from my mom. I take a lot of her bags. She has a lot of stuff. Sorry. She's probably going to wash it. But, yeah, let's get into what's actually inside of it, you know? If you have a period, please go ahead and put a pad in that bag because I can't tell you how many times back in my day, like back in my day, middle school, early high school, this came in clutch. My mom ain't play that. She told me, baby, put a couple pads in that locker, in that book bag. There's going to be a day where maybe not you, but a friend might need it. And I just love that. When I can hand a pad to a girl, I'm like, I got you. Some random girl. Oh, does anyone have a pad? That's going to be you, okay? I don't know, you might use pads, you might use tampons, whatever works best for you. Outside of the pads, you might need some panty liners, okay? There's definitely a better brand. This is the only one I have right now to show y'all as an example. And need I say more? Daily liners can come in clutch if you know you know. But if you don't know, these are not like pads. This is just like another way smaller version, lighter version of pads in a way. So this is not really to use when you're on your period because this will not save you from that blessed thing. Bro, when I tell y'all the toilet paper in the bathrooms for like sandpaper, I'm not messing with it. You shouldn't be messing with it either. Flushable wipes, okay? Flushable wipes. Try to get the most breakable version of flushable wipes because you don't want to be the one that clogged the school toilet. It's kind of embarrassing. You're probably just going to run away after that. Like, what can you do? Do you go tell the janitor? I never had that happen to me, but like, there's somebody that's clogged the toilet before. What the heck do you do? If you can find a smaller pack of wipes, do that, okay? Because wipes are just so clutch. Again, try to get the most biodegradable version that's out there because we want to save the earth at the same time. Now, you want to be clean, but you still want to save the earth, babe. Try to find that good in between. But yeah, even if I'm going somewhere and I have a small bag, I always take like a Ziploc bag and put a couple wipes in there because we don't play that. We don't play that. Along with all those other things that you're going to need for, you know, your period, you should probably take a pair of black panties and put that in your bag because black, obviously. And yeah, you just always need an extra pair because sometimes accidents happen. Let's continue on. I don't know who else has vision issues like me, as you can see extra glasses okay i didn't used to do this back in my day because i was dumb and i can't tell you how many times in gym like somebody threw somebody threw a ball at me by accident maybe it was by accident i don't know maybe they were trying to hit me on purpose and my glasses would break in the gym and it was just so embarrassing i guess down i don't play by my vision and you shouldn't either if you're also glasses wear next up if you want to make some friends in class just pull out this pack of gum okay they're gonna be on you like everybody's always feeding for gum yo can i get a piece can i get a piece now one thing about my battery it's going to die. Like I was saying, get you a pack of gum because there might be some days you're slipping, especially after lunch. So let's speed this up. You gotta get a comb. Oh, this comb a little dusty. Oh my God, this was in the bottom of my drawer, please. This is not my hair. But yes, you know, sometimes you just need a comb. You gotta fix your hair up. A comb and a brush, if you can get both in your bag, do it because certain hairstyles require a different type of methods to keep it down. Filming, staying in the hair section, Sometimes you need a bobby pin. Okay, you don't want nothing falling out, falling off. Get you some bobby pins, okay? Don't, just don't do it. Don't risk it, please. I'm asking you nicely. Okay, the dollar bobby pins, I'm sure they work just as fine, okay? I love me some any bobby pins though. Those are always the go. -to. You need hair ties. There's gonna be some days where you just need to tie your hair up. Sometimes when I'm having a bad hair day, I'm like, let me just tie this bad boy up because I don't even got the time to try to fix it. The brush isn't helping. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And again, gym class was like trying to take me out. But luckily, my gym period was always, always at the end of my day. Like, it was always seven for six period. I forgot how many periods I had in middle school. Um, So if you're still in elementary or middle school, please enjoy those years, okay? It's so good. You don't realize it in the moment, but life is just so much more simpler during that era of life. Anyways, yeah, so you just gotta get some hair ties. Keep yourself together. And again, there's always somebody that might need one and I always love helping out my girlies or whoever when I can. Then, okay, you're gonna need some edge control and an edge brush. 
this is the best edge control personally i always use this the thing is it is a little white like it starts to flake and stuff but i feel like that's every edge control at this point at least with my hair type like every edge control gets white so if you guys know anything that doesn't get white let me know you feel me but definitely try to see if you can get a smaller like carton or something because this is way too big this is a brush i was talking about i got this from the hair store i mean from the dollar store and this is perfect because it comes with a mirror and a brush two in one like you gotta be kidding me this was only a dollar this is like like the best invention one of the best inventions ever at least when it comes to hair he did the big one okay i don't know who created this first like who was like you know what it literally is because it's the perfect size it fits in anything whether you have a small purse whether you have a big one and yeah i just honestly i really take this out with me a lot it's been through some damage as you can see it looks very dusty if i haven't lost it why am i going to get a new one i'll just use this and it gets the job done so i definitely recommend looking into a little compact thing like just so it's easier on you and the bag you don't want no bag filled to the rim you can't even unzip now we're gonna get into like the hygiene type of stuff yeah you see this you see this? hold on yeah you need to get this you need to bring this with you baby don't even play this should definitely be in that bag you need to bring you a small little bottle of deodorant this is a dove um advanced cool essentials deodorant i'm actually still trying to look for a better deodorant it is July 3rd, so y'all about to hear fireworks. People are hype. It's 10 o'clock. But it's cool. I don't have no moves. So I'm like, let me film this video. So bring you a, the smallest bottle of deodorant that you can, preferably a spray can. That's usually the best option, especially if you want to help somebody out just in case they need some. You can't share this. Off. But just bring deodorant in general because some days you might forget. You're like, um, did I put deodorant on when I left the house? You know, just want to help yourself out. Help out future you. You never know. My battery just died again. So I'm going to speed this up. Bottle perfume. Okay, this is the Victoria's Secret Bear Vanilla Perfume, and this smells so good. Okay, I wish it lasted a little longer, but it's so good. It literally just smells like vanilla. I love vanilla scented things. I think it's just the go-to scent. Next up, please bring your little backup charger, okay? Especially if you have an older iPhone or just phone in general. It's gonna die during the day, and we need our phones, especially in this day and age. Now, for those days when you might have a headache, sometimes the nurses, I know the nurses usually have medicine, but I like carrying around, at least back in my day, I like to carry around some like Benadryl or Tylenol or something like that. Just FYI, your school might not allow you to carry around medicine, so definitely check in with your school policies before carrying anything to school. Thank you very much. This is the dollar version, of, but you know, it's, it's still medicine. I never actually used it, I never been one to like really take Tylenol and all of that stuff. To be honest, I just took it out because honestly, I don't think I get headaches like that now that I think about it. Thank the Lord, because headaches are the worst feeling. This is another version of a mirror. This is very big, but I mean, sometimes you want to get the full picture. You want to see what's really going on. You want to get in the back of your head. So, you know, a little handheld mirror wouldn't hurt. Baby, I don't care how long ago 2020 was. I always bring hand sanitizer with me wherever I go because things are just so dirty. I've become such a germaphobe lately. Things are dirty, okay? The public is so disgusting. You just don't know. People don't wash their hands. People's, like, terms of cleanliness is very different. But I wash my hands every time before I eat, after I eat, before I touch my face. So, it's just like... If I can't get to the sink, at least I got this. It's not enough, but like it's something. And it's just a lot of drinks built on top of each other. Next up, you gotta bring your little chapstick. You don't want no chapped lips out here. If you can't bring a lip gloss, then bring some chapstick, okay? There's no excuse to walk around with chapped, dry lips. I definitely wanna get a lip scrub because I need to do my Okay, sometimes when I'm in a very crowded area, like in school, my school like was really overcrowded. I'm putting on that mask, I don't care. Again, I don't wanna get sick regardless put this mask on put my hand sanitizer on back up a little bit from me i don't know people just forget boundaries sometimes and i'm just very big on personal space and just like so this is going back to lip gloss this lip gloss is so cute this is the lip glow oil this john is so nice guys it's not gonna focus but um yeah this is lip glow oil color reviver and cherry oil but i have some of it on right now i'm more of a lip gloss than a lip oil type of girl but this is still really nice it's very cute and portable so i love like tinted pink tinted lip gloss the way to go i'm tired of clear lip gloss personally next you again to go with that gum i should have included this this is the listerine cold cool mint you just spray this Woo! you just spray this in your mouth and yeah it literally crunches like i feel so minty and then the last thing in here is just see i got this from my school so you press this button right here it alarms and makes some noise in case like somebody's coming near you you don't want them near you <laughs> and then this is just a little flashlight so that's just cool because sometimes your phone might die and i always think it's nice to have actual items instead of just your phone for you know what i'm saying sometimes you need an actual calculator sometimes you need actual this actual that so yeah i'm very thankful for the school for giving me this because i'm not gonna test it because i don't know how to turn it off and i don't need any drama i also do want to get pepper spray because i just it's scary out here y'all we want to be safe you got to be in your 10 toes when you're walking around 
But that is it for my back to school emergency kit. I hope this helped out someone out there. Please make sure to invest in one. I think it's very important when you're going to school because there's just some things you never know what the day brings. What the day. And yeah, I wish I had this video back when I was in high school and middle school. So if I did help you out, make sure to subscribe because we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I hope we can reach that before the end of the summer. Hopefully before my birthday. So if you're new here and you end up liking me, subscribe, baby. We got a lot planned, a lot soon for the next couple of months and I'm just excited. But make sure you also follow me on Instagram and TikTok to stay tuned and I will see you guys then. Bye. Wait a minute. Who are you?